Alright guys, so we got two new characters here. We got Whip and we have a roulette for her. And we're going to go over her in a moment. What her skills are, if she's good or not, uh, if she's worth getting. Obviously she's worth trying for because it's a free roulette. But we also have Chrysalid. Uh, Chrysalid. Uh, Chris Chrysalid. I don't know how to pronounce his name. Somebody can tell me in the comments how wrong I'm saying it. But I guess I'll just call him Chrysalid. Although, uh, I love the name Chrysalid. <laughs> okay, now this dude is better than Orochi. That's right, I'm saying it. I know. I know you're like, uh, what? Every tier list in that tier list mom is going to have to disagree with you, Drake. Uh, but I'm going to show you how wrong those tier lists are. All right, so here's your boy here. Uh, so we're going to jump straight into his leader skill. He increases balance type fighters attack by 25%, HP by 15%, and attack by an additional 20% when HP is 50% or less. So if he's got less than 50% health, he's going to have a buttload of attack. I uh, know you're thinking, uh, Drake, that that's not as good as Orochi's. Okay, that, that leader skill is not as good as Orochi's. How can you tell me that he's better? You tell me you don't see it? Is that what you're telling me right now? All right, well, let's, well, let's keep going. Event, I think through this video, your eyes will be open. All right, so move on to the cores. 12% 12% blast skill attack damage increase. That's really good. Uh, notable cores here. It decreases damage received by 50% when hit by a critical hit. Increases active skill damage by 60% if HP is 45% or less. That's... That's one. The next one is obtains 50% power and resets cooldowns of active skills when HP is 40% or less for 30 second cooldown. Uh, now I know what you're thinking, uh, Drake. Okay, those sound decent, but those core skills are more like when you're taking damage. Like Orochi and all these other characters have good core skills that don't require you taking or losing like half your health. I feel you. But you telling me you still don't realize why he's better? You're still questioning me? All right. Let's keep going then. His skills. Inflicts damage and decreases cooldowns of Typhoon Rage, which is the next move here, by 0.5 seconds upon landing a skill. Increases defense by 35% for 10 seconds. That's really good. That's really good. Uh, this is the Typhoon. This is the one that gets the cooldown reduction. Uh, spoiler alert on his other active skill too. Inflicts damage and disables targets roll for 4 seconds on a successful attack or guard and increases attack by 27% for 7 seconds. That's like really good. And it is a, uh, a blast skill. Third one here, inflicts damage and decreases cooldown of the Typhoon Rage and upon landing the skill gains super armor for 3 seconds with using a skill. His skills are actually pretty nuts. And uh, his uh, finisher and his striker just deal damage. Let's see what they look like here. Alright, so here's his first move. That decreases the cooldown for this move right here. So this is the move that uh, all his uh, I'm sorry, his other two active skills decrease the cooldown of. So that's going to be like the bread and butter there. And here's his other one. Really cool, covers some ground. Now yeah, let's check out his finisher. Really cool. Alright, and his special skill finisher here. It's freaking sick, man. <laughs> Straight up JoJo punches him, man. All right, so you've seen his leader skill, you've seen his cores, and you're seeing his skills, and you're telling, and, and I know what you're thinking right now, Drake, those are pretty decent, or pretty good, but this dude is not better than Orochi. Okay, okay, look, you look me in the eyes right now, you look me, you're gonna tell me right now, you don't see it. This is embarrassing. This is embarrassing for you. The man is sure me approved handsome, son. Yeah. 
now tell me who's better. That's right. This guy ain't sure me approved handsome. He sure me approved busted. Sure me love this handsome Voldo clown looking dude with claws. <laughs> I'm just playing. Um, I think he is pretty good, but there's some things that are holding him back. Uh, his leader skill is decent, and his cores are de decent. I think that one of the things that's holding him back is a lot of his stuff has to do with like kicking in once he has 50% or lower health. And um, that type of stuff isn't as good as just being solid at even at full health or like at any health right like you don't want a character just to be good whenever he's at 50 percent health you want a character that's solid all the time and i think that's what prevents him from being like really high in whatever tier list if you care about that his skills are ridiculously good like increases attack gains super armor or gains defense and it lowers the cooldown for his typhoon rage that's all really cool and the Typhoon Rage being your bread and butter thing you're going to be doing with him a lot because everything goes to cooldown for it. It's also kind of a bummer that he has a 12% blast skill attack damage increase. But only has one blast skill other than like his striker move. Uh, which being the Typhoon, which is his main one, but like it's kind of a bummer that the other ones don't get that 12% and damage increase too. Uh, but I still think his skills are the best part of him. Even if his core is activated at like 20 or 30%, he'd be so much better, obviously. But you don't want a character that only gets really good uh, when you're losing. <laughs> but that's just me. That's just uh, that's just my thing. I might be wrong. Uh, but I think that's what holds him back from being higher in the tier list. But as far as the Shermie approved handsome tier list, we pretty high up there. There's some that are higher. Both better and also still Shermie approved handsome. So if you're going for that, he's pretty decent. Pretty decent on the Shermie approved handsome tier list. Which of course automatically puts him above Orochi. Alright, so now we're moving on to Whip. Uh, this is the roulette. You do, there's a few missions that you can do every day to get some tickets for her. Um, and you can also watch some ads to get some free spins on that. So if you want her, that's something you're definitely going to want to do. But how good is she? So let's uh, check it out here. Okay, so her leader skill increases defense type fighter's attack by 60% and decreases defense by 10%. Now, uh, you, that might sound familiar to you. Kind of sounds a lot like uh, Orochi's leader skill with the attack type. And I think, let's see, Paul has something like that. Uh, there's some other characters I think that have a skill like that. Uh, in my opinion, that is a good leader skill. I think that's one of the better type of leader skills. Just I will take way higher percent damage even if I'm losing defense because you can always get your defense from just playing well. You know, dodging, blocking, whatever it is. Just moving out of the way from attacks. But there's only so many ways you can increase your attack, right? So that's kind of like my logic there. So let's check out her cores. So you have a 30% power charge rate increase. That's good. Uh, increases damage uh, by 18% on a crit hit. That's good. Uh, so this is where her cores start really falling short. Uh, decreases burn damage received by 30% for 5 seconds upon landing an active skill. Like, I know there's a lot of really good characters that do burn damage. So this might be like a counter pick of some sorts, kind of like, I think Summer Mai was like this too, where, where a lot of things were just decreasing burn damage by a butt ton. Hers was like 95% or something crazy, but not all characters do burn damage, and that doesn't, for me, that's not something I'm going to want to invest in, just a character that counters a specific handful of characters. Her next one uh, decreases burn damage. Uh, for other team members received by 30% for 10 seconds when tagging out. So you can use her tag out and then your character will have take less burn damage for 10 seconds. That is not a very good core set here. So 
She started off really good with her leader skill, but her cores, I think, are just not good. But this is something I want to point out. Um, she is a pretty dang good uh, Link character to a few pretty decent characters here. So K is decent, and her Link skill with him is really good. Increases attack by 7% and decreases damage received by 3. That's good. Uh, she's really good for 0 here. Increases attack by 7% and decrease, increases power charge rate by 7%. That's really good. And also for the uh, Christmas Whip. Increases damage dealt to enemies by 3% and decreases cooldowns by 1 sec. Increasing cooldowns in this game is pretty dang good. I don't talk about that too much. I should. Uh, but decreasing the cooldowns of your skills is good. But what are her skills like? Uh, hey, so her skills... Uh, the first one just stuns. Second one is just a blast skill, and the third one is this one's kind of interesting. So it inflicts a decent amount of damage and recovers teammates members HP by two percent upon landing a skill. So that's actually kind of cool. Um, I don't think that's one of the more useful ones, but it is neat. And her blast skill just deals damage, and her striker skill deals damage. <laughs> but what do they look like? Uh, whip skills look awesome is what they look like. So here we go. I love whip skills. They look so cool. Smacking them in the air and pulling them down and throwing them behind you like this. That is so awesome. Uh, that's so sick. Okay, so here's the next one. Desert Eagle. Just shoots the crap out of the kneecaps. And I don't think that's a Desert Eagle. But anyways, here's another cool one. Ah, uh, whip whip kick. Her finisher skills are mwah. beautiful. Here we go. Just straight up shoots the crap out of him. And here's the next one. Just whips. Whips for days. It covers so much screen, dude. I love her skills. So overall, of course, she's worth trying for because it's like a free character. You don't have to invest a bunch in it. But let's say, I don't know, for some reason you couldn't play that much. And uh, you couldn't spin the roulette very much and you don't have her yet. Is it worth spending a bunch of rubies on? I don't think so. Unless you want her as a striker or a link character for one of your other characters. I think she is good for that. I think she's okay. Um... Maybe that's like a, but it's not something to like, break the bank, the bleh, break the bank over. <laughs> if so, just do the missions every day, uh, watch the ads if you really want her. But I wouldn't spend your rubies on her. Her art is awesome though. I'm gonna try to get her, <laughs> but I'm not gonna spend my monies. All right, guys, that's gonna be it for the video. I wish you luck. I'm rolling for Chrysalid. <laughs> Chrislid, I think he's a cool character. I wish I had him. I, I, I gotta, I gotta, gotta stack up my Sherby approved handsome team. You know what I'm saying? I hope the video was helpful for you. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I really appreciate it. If you like, comment, and subscribe, let me know what you think of, it, of him. Am I totally wrong? Am I dead on? I know a lot of people like this character, like in general, and I am one of those people. I think he's really cool but I'm probably gonna pass on him. But I wish you luck if you're rolling for him. Thanks again for watching my silly video and you have a blessed day, y'all.